Hello, thank you for joining me. Hey, what I'd like to show you in this film is how to use your design center in, in order to help you lay out your rooms. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to be putting some furniture into these rooms and kind of laying it out so you can see what it looks like. Uh, it might be a good idea to do that to make sure your rooms are adequately sized. So say you're going to put together a bedroom, you want to put in a uh, like a like a king bed perhaps, and so make sure you have room for furniture and some other chairs too, and closets and whatnot. You don't want to make your room so darn big, like a bedroom that might be twice as big as your living room. You want to make it uh, comfortably sized uh, for your dream house, but you don't want to make it too big, and you certainly don't want to make it too small. So let's go ahead and do this. What you do is you go to your design center. Remember we did that in, in a previous video. If you don't have it docked, you can go ahead and do that. And it's like, we're like really big here. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and dock it next to my properties manager. And remember how we did this? You go into the sample folder. You go down to the design center. We already went through the dynamic blocks and showed you how to put in a door. But for the design center, here's uh, three things you want to visit, as I mentioned before, in a different video. The home, space planner, the house designer, and uh, kitchens and landscaping too. If you want to put some stuff outside, you're welcome to do. Go ahead and do that. Let's start with the home. Always click on blocks. It gives you a list of blocks that uh, you have the ability to uh, to use. And let's just stretch that out a little bit. We'll stretch this out so we can see a little bit more of what we're doing. And yeah, let's go ahead and put in a queen bed. You already have a king bed, but just for the sake of example, let's go ahead and drag in a queen bed. Now let's think about making this a, a bedroom. Now these aren't dynamic blocks, so you have to physically go in here and uh, make some changes. I'm going to go ahead and rotate this and put the the head of that bed next to the to the wall. These are uh, this grip that you see here is a move grip. All I have to do is take that and move the the bed into its place. For a bedroom, this actually looks kind of big, which is uh, probably uh, something to keep in mind. You might want to stretch this down, maybe stretch these walls down a little bit in order to accommodate the room a little bit better. A uh, copy machine, uh, probably not good for a bedroom. Uh, maybe a rocking chair, that would be good. We'll go ahead and bring that in. And rocking chairs usually are not, uh, you know, square to wall. So let's go ahead and rotate that a little bit. Move that back into place. And other things too, maybe uh, a desk. We can put a desk in there. And some other elements too. What we'd like to do is get some furniture, uh, uh, you know, such as a dresser and whatnot. If you don't find it in one block section, one design center section. You probably could find it in a different section. So let's go to house designer and see what we can find in here. There's a bathtub, there's a sink, there's a toilet. Those things are good for the bathrooms of course. There's a spiral staircase we could use. And if you don't find what you're really looking for, you can go ahead and set things up and create a very simple uh, things in here to, you know, to represent a desk or a dresser or a nightstand or other things. So if you find your room to be a little bit on the small side, I'm going to go ahead and rotate this desk a little bit, move that in, into a position, perhaps. You can go ahead and stretch your rooms down. It's a fairly easy thing to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to stretch this room down, maybe shrink it by about six feet. Take my rocking chair, put that back into place. Space bar, stretch that down, maybe four feet. So now I have room for a closet up here. I have a place for a door over here. And that's a little bit more reasonably sized room. I'm going to take my bed and move that around. This is kind of the iterative process when you put this together. You're kind of designing your rooms. You're kind of laying out the furniture in the room the way you would like to see it in order to get that room size the way you really want it. This will provide you with uh, much more room uh, with some of the more common areas like a family room or a living room or a great room too if you have that. So join me for the next film and we'll move on.